We'll see how Kevin is gonna fare in this match. Oh no, he's good. On a green, he was pretty good. I think you are slightly in favor if you're Phoenix going second, uh, unless you just pass and do nothing. So if you don't have a spike field hazard or any removal to deal with the Man War Elves. Um, he could go off here with a Kiora or an old growth troll. Could be devastating uh, for a turn to play. Oh, there it is. So Kevin is thinking of throwing the lightning axe, probably not. Oh, he thought he was attacking. <laughs> A little whoopsie there. So this is very good for Hilkia right now because Old Growth Troll is going to be putting a lot of pressure. He can also go defensive in case uh, Kevin decides to go off with Phoenixes because Old Growth Troll has reach. If you've been living under a rock. Still a very good card from Kaldheim. It provides three pips of devotion. So very good. Yep. Those on the offense, uh, we're seeing a Ledger Shredder for Kevin on turn two. Not a very strong card. I would rather see a uh, thing in the ice. That's the better threat against this matchup. And Kiara is the play here. Taps out for both of Nissa, revealing Nick Faust. That is very disgusting. I think the better line for Kilke right there was to play Oath and play Nikthos. Yeah, there it is. A little bit late. Get, gets in with four counters. Because he could have played Nikthos and then played uh, Kiara and then untap Nikthos. I oh, know he probably didn't have enough mana. It's still fine. Maybe you probably uh, did have a payoff. So we know that Hilkia has one card of Nyctos in his hand. Nyctos pro provides a lot of mana for every devotion on the field. Let's see what the play here is for Kevin. Oh, Hilkia is already getting ready. If he kills the growth troll here, not gonna do much. Yeah, getting a little bit excited. And Kevin is contemplating very hard on this second spell. He wants the value of the Ledger Shredder. Uh, casting the second spell and then dealing with one of Rukia's creatures. I would rather kill the Elvish Mystic at this point. Then again, this is uh, very rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Good play. Both. Phoenix goes to three. Gets a connive trigger. Starting at Manwin. So graveyard two.
here's the necklace and play that's four five six mana and play storm the festival oh another go go throw that's gonna be eight three extra they can hunt up with your uh even drew a card off the old go troll based on Kiara's effect. Untap. It'll produce six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna cast Storm. Take top five. Top five, top five costs. Two permanents with uh, cost five or less. We're good to get Karn here and probably Cavalier of Thorns to dig another storm. He can get. Karn, and then maybe go for a Sky Self play. Although, you won't be uh, killing any of the creatures. This thing in the ice can be very crucial. Oh, second Nykthos. That is pretty good. So now he can actually play the Cityscape uh, leveler just to deal with the Thing in the ice. Gonna float another nine, going up to eleven. Gonna tick down, get a card from the sideboard, and it's just a very good, very good planeswalker. Uh, if you have that much access to mana, oh, that's even more disgusting. <laughs> Portal to Phyrexia. So that's going to force Kevin to sacrifice at least three, yeah, and <laughs> scoops it up. If you would like to support this channel, check out our website at topdeckph.com. I get spell cost four or greater. All right, plays an island. Goes for an op on the end step. Manor Elves for Kevin. It's, there's the red source level guide pathway into spike field hazard. That should have been the play earlier uh, in the first game. No spell fears. That would have been very good uh, just to slow Rokia down. Team vents pass. I will turn three uh, pieces. Who wants to hold up his cards? And Overgrown Tomb, thinking of being attacked. Another Wolf Willow Haven. Go, go, say go. All right. Consider on the end step. So, Kevin's plan should be to dig for his threats. Probably a Crackling Drake as he keeps aggressively using his uh, cantrips. He could also slam his thing in the ice, which should have been. Uh, Turn earlier, that would have been so good because that would mean like anything that the mono green player plays, uh, feature wise, would be irrelevant unless it can kill a oh, nice counter. There's the stroke, unless it can counter. Uh, the thing in the ice, there you go. Finally, he gets to play it. Does he have a second one? Yep, there's his. Yeah. But he can bounce it though. 
finds the Necros, which is good. He hasn't played his land drop yet. No sign of storm though. It's two old growth trolls. Gonna be an ultra missile. No, just Elvish Mystic. So he has four, five, six. That is six. Then eight. Ten mana on the board. So just one storm, the festival should do the trick. If we're lucky, uh, already doing math. Is the end step consider? <laughs> Bends it, draws for the turn. You should have access to treasure pools by now. Okay. Part of fours. If he has a bunch of phoenixes, uh, there's a temporal trespass. Normally, you board them out in game two because they tend to be quite predictable and slow. <laughs> also, only good for a uh, mirror match and game one. Mostly, game one, just you could steal a bunch of games. There's the phoenix. Party in the graveyard. Second spell. Treasure cruise. The Kevin is going off. Thing in the eye is going down to one counter. Three cards. Ops. Can he get a third land? Yep. Fourth land. There you go. Demons. Ops, so it's gonna bounce. Look at his creatures. So bring one Phoenix as well, putting down to 10. So now the tables have turned quite a bit. Uh, it's gonna be Ilkia on the defense right now because that thing in the ice flip was very crucial. Uh, not only to delay uh, Hilkia's game plan, but one mana, probably play Elvish Mystic. Into Kiora, all right. One, two, three, four. That produces four mana. Play Karn and untap, or you could play untap, uh, play Cavalier. Let's <laughs> do four to six. Good chain here, is good. Kiara can push him a bit further in this matchup. All right, gets a Seiju. Draws a card. Anything else? This is the turn. One Aether Gust away from taking this game. Let's see if Kevin has it. Uh, could be awkward if he doesn't have a land and then he decides to play pieces of the puzzle. He could dig for an Aether Gust. He has two copies. Aether Gust into Fury Impulse or Libyus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he does have access to it. Like Field Hazard in his hand. Kevin is thinking very hard. Okay, first spell. Now it's 
that one. And uh, I'm just going to play thesis. And Mary Way. Just the crackling Drake, very unfortunate. Ours, it's a reversal. Oh, I, I guess he wants to outmaneuver the Storm of the Festival. Very linear strategy here for Kevin. Although it could have worked a couple of turns ago. I'm gonna get the lightning. No, oh, no, no. Thinking hard. Oh, go in. He decides to attack. Uh, the good thing about letting Cavalier die is he could bring back another Cavalier off the top. That could be an option. Or he could play it somewhat risky and block. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do here. Take the 7 damage. Technically, he's not bad. Devotion on the field. A lot of plays here depends on what the Rukia's plan looks like. I think that's the play. Play Storm. Yeah. Yes, storm resolves. Steve, yeah, yes. Oh, ooh la la. That's Karn and another Cavalier, which is very good. So, what is the trigger here for Nokia? Probably it's the mill first. That usually is a pattern. Yeah, there you go. So it decides to put Kiora trigger on the stack last. A lot of options here for Yokia. Taking down Karn, you can get another portal to Phyrexia, you can get an escape leveler. Thorns. Yeah, there's the leveler. Reveal it, get past it, and the thing in the ice is eat some rocks. <laughs> Here it comes. Three, four, and kaboom. Power she blows. The question now is would. Okay, a risk going in. I should make a power stone artifacts. He's going to draw from Kiora. Don't forget that. So, forest. 
He's still down to three. Kevin's turn. Looks like LK is about to get back into the game. See if Kevin can find an opening here. Just to deal just to deal that three damage off of that Bright Light Phoenix. Or maybe triple spike field hazard? That could work. I could see a spike field, uh, galvanic iteration, spike field, and another spike. That should close out game yeah. number two. If that exists. There it is. How are we going to see it? The card is going to get copied. He's a land first. I know, I think he tapped me. Slowly doing it like not a bit of Not with those big chunky. Okay. Alright, both on the cityscape leveler. That takes care of one of them. Sonic's move here, Gubs. You're gonna get away with two Cavaliers. Gonna smash in your face. Next turn. The okay, I could even go for Shadow Spear right now and just try to take over the game. Yep. About to do it. And Grim here, baby. Because he may think that holding up a stroke uh, for a turn. Like at, at this point, it's it's super hard. You don't have a threat. You don't even have anything to block. Or to deal with the thorns. Tap. Six, seven, eight, nine. Seven plus nine, sixteen. It just brings back another leveler. <laughs> okay, so I think he tried to destroy the power stone and then he just gets another one. I think Ilkea is looking for a lethal. I give it hate. Temple. The Shadow Spear, sort of resolves, gonna equip it. Oh, he used Unearth. Okay, so it does have haste. Wonder if he drew Kiora though. It shouldn't matter. I just I think it's. At least. And well.
Okay, but yeah, never mind then.